Hey! Hey! Can you see me? Oh, then you may need to find a microscope. Now you are able to see me, it's time to introduce myself and my family. You can call us bacteria. My family is so... Hey, hey, it's my turn. Hello, I'm Virus. We can make you sick. <laughs> On my left side is fungi. Some of them are small and can be used in beer and bread making. Hey, Protozoa, come and introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Protozoa. Now, let me tell you who had invented the microscope. In the 13th century, people invented lenses for different uses, such as magnifier. In the 14th century, people invented spectacles to aid eyesight. In 1590, two spectacle makers developed the first simple microscope. They made it with two lenses and a tube. Actually, you can make a simple microscope on your own. First you will need a cylinder and cut it like this. It allows you to place your specimen and light up the specimen. Then you need to place a cover on top of the cylinder and pin a small hole in the middle for you to observe your specimen through the hole. Finally, you will need cellophane placed on top of the cover and place a drop of water above it. Now you will have a simple microscope. Let's try to observe small creatures with it. To understand how microscopes work, we will need to understand more about the structure of it. Let's have a look at the optical microscope. The specimen is the object you want to observe, and the glass plate is to hold the object that you want to observe. But we need to make sure the glass plate won't move, so stage clips allow us to clip the glass plate. Here is the most important part of the microscope, the objective lens. There are three objective lens with three different magnifications. The mirror is to allow light to illuminate your specimen. Mirror is very important in an optical microscope. With the mirror, light will be reflected to light up the specimen. Without light, you can see nothing. The eyepiece is the position where you observe. To explain how it works, let's take a look at this. This is the original image. It is so tiny that most of the time we cannot see by ourselves. But with the use of lens, image is being refracted. And this is the final image we get. Now you may wonder why humans invented different types of microscopes. It is because the magnification power of optical microscope is not high enough. Your hair is about 50 micrometer, and my bacteria family is 1 50th of it and virus is smaller. So we will need to use electron microscope. The magnification power of electron microscope is 10,000 times higher than that of an optical microscope. After scanning by the electron microscope, the image will be shown on screen which is three-dimensional. 